Hey guys! Today I'm gonna be unboxing my new Louis Vuitton Zoe wallet. It is a brand new style in their collection, so when I was researching it before I bought it, there weren't a lot of videos on it. So when I received the item, I really wanted to make a video on it. That way, there's more resources out there for anyone out there who may also be interested in the same wallet. So firstly, I'm going to be showing you all the features of the wallet in detail and then I'll show you how much I can fit in the wallet. And finally, I have here with me two smallest bags in my collection and I'll show you how the wallet fits in there and how much space you have left. Before we get into the unboxing, if you're new here, my name is Isabel and I put up new videos every single week relating to investment designer fashion pieces. And if you like investing into designer pieces to incorporate into your style, I think you'd find my videos helpful. So I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel. And if you like these kinds of videos, please do give it a thumbs up. So the wallet arrived at work today. And to be really honest, I had a really quick peek because I could not wait that long. It arrived at 10 a.m. So I couldn't hold off until I finished work. But it does come in this protective box that all Louis Vuitton items come in when you order online. I'll open up the box that it came in. And it comes in that Louis Vuitton protective box, which I love. And these are the receipts in there and the returns label and everything like that. And of course the wallet is in this beautiful box. And let me open it up. It lies in this dust bag and when you open it up, I did get the Zoe wallet in the monogram with the rose ballerine. So it is the newest compact wallet in the Louis Vuitton collection and I did physically see it when I went in to pick up my Pichette Matisse bag the other day and I actually did make a video on this so if you'd like to check it out I'll link it up here and um, I actually didn't buy the wallet when I saw it um, in the store that day because I do have quite a few wallets in my collection and um, I really wanted to have a think about whether I really wanted to buy this wallet or not and days went by and I kept thinking about it so I ended up ordering it online the other day. This wallet retails for 575 Australian dollars for the canvas version and you do pay a little bit more for the imprint version and I do think it's a fair price for this wallet because it does have a few compartments although it is a very small wallet. For the measurements it's nine and a half centimeters this way and from here to here it's about seven and a half centimeters and it's three centimeters in thickness when you look at it from the bulkiest bit. And I'll actually give you some visual size comparison as well so you get an idea how small this wallet is. So I do have two small wallets in my collection. The first one is the Zippy Coin Purse. So it is actually smaller than the Zippy Coin Purse but you do get an idea when you put them side by side. So when I hear centimeters and inches sometimes I just don't get an idea how big they are although I physically do know how big those measurements are. So I like to do a visual comparison. So that's what it looks like. The thickness is quite similar. And I've got here my Victory wallet as well, which is quite a similar style, but it is a lot bigger as you can see. Let me hold it up properly. And the thickness right there. So this particular one is in the monogram canvas with the rose ballerine. It does come in the fuchsia as well and it also comes in emprunt leather as I mentioned before. And at the moment um, you can choose from black and rose podre which is the baby pink colour. So I'll go through all the features of the wallet. So it has the snap button closure and I love how it's the regular brass button because a lot of their items actually have the leather covering on it and um, it is gorgeous because it complements whatever the lining color is but the leather cover actually scratches off really easily and very quickly and the wallet looks quite old when that happens and you do need to send it in for repairs if you don't like the look of it. If you turn it around to the back, there is a slip pocket at the back there for easy access. So if you have a particular card that you use the most, or I probably use it for parking tickets, it's really easy to quickly grab it without having to open up the whole wallet. When you open up the wallet, there are four credit card compartments, so going sideways there. It's also got a big bill compartment and that's one of the reasons I really wanted to get this wallet because the smallest full function wallet that I have in my collection at the moment is the Zippy Coin Purse from Louis Vuitton and that one is really great it fits a lot but the only problem that I have with it is that you actually have to fold all your bills to fit them in there and it is okay you can still keep a lot of bills in the wallet but when you quickly try and pay for something in cash it's really difficult to source through all your bills and you know pay and then when you get changed 
you actually have to fold it in and organize all the bills again as well. So it can be quite time consuming when you're in a bit of a rush. So I do love that you don't you won't have to fold your bills in this wallet. And then it's also got a coin section as well. So just in there. I'm not sure how many coins you can fit in here, but when you're in a rush and you don't have your coin wallet with you, you can just quickly put some in and later on sort your coins out. And as with all Louis Vuitton pieces, the zipper is just so buttery soft and smooth. It's so easy to unzip and zip back up. And I'm also loving the zipper pull as well. So the zipper pull is in this really little metal brass hardware. And it is the same zipper pull that you see on the key clay and the mini pochette. And I do love them because they do wear really well as opposed to zippy coin purse zip pull which I'll show you here. So this one is great as well, but it does scratch up pretty easily. So it does look a bit beaten up really quickly. So I do like the other zipper pool better that's on the new Zoe wallet. So now I have here with me five credit cards. I've got some bills and I've got some coins as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them all in the wallet and see how everything fits in the wallet. So I've just packed the wallet full with everything that I just showed you and everything fits quite well. The only thing is I probably wouldn't put that many coins in here because it does bulk up the wallet quite a bit, but you can definitely put coins in there as well. So to show you, I've got my four cards in there, I've got the bills in there as well, and I've got quite a few coins in there. And some of these Australian coins are really big, like a 50 cent coin, it's massive. But that's how many coins are in there at the moment. And I'll zip that back up. And I've also got a credit card there as well. And I can just take that out. It's actually quite snug in there, which is good because you don't want the card to be falling out easily. Also, I used to carry a lot of cards with me because I have a lot of loyalty cards from different stores that you get points on. But I did find this app called Stow Cards and basically you can select your region. So obviously I selected Australia and you can look up all different retailers that do loyalty cards and you can select the stores that you want in your profile and then you scan your barcode from your actual loyalty card and all your barcodes are stored in that store card app so whenever you go shopping and want to get points on your loyalty cards you can just present them the barcode from your phone so I've been able to slim down the contents of my wallet quite a bit using the app so I do recommend it if you guys do want to go compact on the wallet so after using that app I can actually carry a compact wallet on a daily basis without missing the full-size big wallet and now I have with me two smallest bags from my collection and I'll quickly show you how the wallet fits in these bags and also how much more I can fit in these bags with the wallet in it. So first of all, I've got my Chanel mini flat bag in the square size and when you open it up, it's quite a small bag. So I'll quickly put in the wallet so, and it fits really well actually. So there it is. I'm going to see if I can fit it um, standing up the other way. Well, I'm actually really happy. You can also stand it up so you can probably put some more items around it. So I'm going to go ahead and put all the other items in there that I carry on a daily basis and quickly show you how everything sits together. So I went ahead and filled the bag full with all my daily essentials. So I've got my phone in there, which is an iPhone 7 Plus, which is quite a big phone. And I've got a lip gloss. I've also got a lipstick and my car key and a hand cream in there. And I'll see how I can close this bag up. And it closes perfectly, actually. There's no stretching on the bag and it still looks perfect with everything in there. And next up, I transferred all the items from the Chanel mini bag into this Gucci Mammoth mini camera bag as well. And everything fits perfectly in there as well. And there's actually more room in this bag. So you could put a few more things around the items that I've already got in there. So if you can see, that's what it looks like on the inside. So far, I'm really loving this wallet. It is really compact. It is so cute and it still fits everything in it. And it does fit into my smallest bags. I'll see how I get on with this wallet in the next few weeks and if you want me to do an updated review on this wallet, I'll be more than happy to do that so do let me know in the comments down below. If you've got any other questions about this wallet that I didn't address or answer, also leave them down in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. 
If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye guys!